there is an individual that is on the verge of, of going public, and I thought that your audience might like to um, hear from this. Okay? Here we go. Hello, James. This is the first-hand intel guy, witness. Hello, James. It's been a while since we collaborated, collaborated on a public statement. As you know, I'm working to get private industry and Congress to collaborate on the UAP materials and biologics. Yes, both are part of the legacy program. I know we had a few oddball comments from folks who haven't been in the program, but as someone with first-hand knowledge and knowing other first-hand experiencers, we have been asked to formalize our testimony through the same ICIG it's Intelligence Community Inspector General process that David Grush went through. Unlike David, I personally have not experienced any attacks from the government, nor DOD. My reason for coming forward is purely to provide factual information concerning the people, locations, private laboratories, and research facilities that exist around the world in an effort to help the investigative process. It's always my hope that the DOD, Pentagon, and the Legacy Program people are allowed to get out from under the heavy-handed weaponization of the exotic technologies they have. I believe there is a solid path for everyone to come forward without reprisal and to help mankind by making the non-classified aspects more transparent and available for the sectors of our societies that involve medicine, energy production, and the enlightenment of our collective mindset as human beings. I'm encouraged by all the hard work that many unsung heroes are doing behind the scenes, and I can tell you there's a lot, um, as well as in the public domain. I will be coming forward when the time is right. I wish you and everyone you read this letter to all the blessings and goodwill they deserve. The truth is now being revealed, and I promise to continue doing my part. Anyway, that's someone who's not in a position to go public just yet, but is going through the process. Uh, there's, a, there's a particular process that they have to go through before they can become, I guess, whistleblower, right? So that was a message from one of those individuals that we'll be hearing from probably as early as this year. What would happen if you 